Jojo has fun. All right, I'm ready. Okay, welcome back to Jojo has fun. Okay. I am going to select outdoors. I think I'm farting pink. The day... That day during recess, you start a half hour away that goes full crazy. You casually chatting with G- uh, Juan, the small magical Latino <laughs> cat. You start wow. telling him that hilarious story of what happened last summer at Monster Camp. You know which one. The one involving the beehive, the blow-up doll, the president, the penguin mask, and the mystery of the Goblin King. Slowly, lots of people start joining you to hear the story. By the time you say the Goblin King was, a hundred or so <laughs> people burst into hysterical laughter. You turn on a mobile app that captures all the laughter and turns it into plus two fun. Wow. Sweet. Nice. You see Miranda frantically running around bothering people. You come up to ask what's going on. Radfist, come here. You're always trying to help us and impress us with the most absurd ways. I need your help. Ah, royal us. <laughs> yes. Have you seen my test surf? Not the experimental surf I've been testing lately. The one that does tests for me. You know, real smart, but no free will. Brainwashed, I think. Nice. Father gave him to me on my 10th birthday. He said he would help me be a better student. You highly doubt that, but you keep your thoughts to yourself. Now he's missing. Help me. The test is almost upon us. Oh, um, God. Um, you um, run into the radio room and yell every word that can be a mental trigger to a brainwashed sir. sir. They had to put one in his head. That's how this mind fuckery works, right? Or convince the wolf pack to use their super heightened senses of smell to find the surf. Convince the wolf pack. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna die alone. Fuck. You run into the wolf pack and use your acute persuasion skills. I don't even care. Whoa, bro. You totally convinced with your acute persuasion skills. You count us finding that surf noob. Smell the time, bros. Hours go by. Nothing happens. Lady Miranda runs into you. Hey, you. Quite nonchalant of you. What? Promising to help me and then vanishing into thin air. Here lies Radfest, queen of the, the, the not-so-nice people. What I want to say is, you poop. Bye. Maybe for the wolf pack to get some answers. Hey, bro, what's up? You asked him about the surf. Oh, that thing? Yeah, we totally found it, just like you asked us. We were the best at setting and finding stuff. Fuck yeah! Oh, what, we're supposed to bring it back to you? You asked specifically to find it, and we found it. How do we know you wanted to f- other than the sake of finding it? What do you think we are, mind readers? No, what are we? Werewolves! 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 They leave. All right, tell Miranda we totally ate her surf. Fish tree! Werewolves, werewolves, werewolves. Now they leave for good. Oh! You guess is what you get for relying on idiots. You lose minus two smarts and minus one charm. Fuck! Choose an animal. Uh, Otter! Koala! Based on how likely it is to be for the selected animal to take over humankind. Well, mm. koalas have chlamydia. Otters are known for rape. Ooh, this is rough. Yeah. Chlamydia versus rape. <laughs> uh, both animals, I think, are, are pretty equally cute. Yeah, yeah. So that that's a, uh, otters otters by sea, I koalas think it, by I, land. Well, otters, I think, are... are, are their 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 cuteness versus how horrible they are, the, the ratio is so much different because koalas are cute and they probably have chlamydia. There's adorable people out in the world right now who that works. Yeah. 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 So. So who would take over the world then? Well, koalas have claws. Yeah, I I feel like koalas are bigger than otters. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking koalas. Okay. All right, I guess you go first. I was going to point out the fact that koalas are uh, only on an island. Oh, yeah. fuck, you're right. <laughs> Otters are almost everywhere. All right. God damn it. Where are you going to go? I want to sit with... Oh, I'm going to sit with Liam. When you arrive at the table, you find that Polly and Liam aren't eating. They're just taking pictures of their food. Hi, Welcome to the Denny to Eat, so I just take dope food pics, then, baby. We believe that food, like children, should be seen and not tasted. Yeah, I mean, have you ever tasted a baby? Have you? I don't know, maybe. My weekends are usually kind of a blur. Like, last Saturday? There will be plenty of time to chronicle your sexploits later, Polly. Right now, we need to focus on these food picks. 
While Liam and Polly were busy bantering, you were busy arranging a dope food pick of your own, and now to complete your masterpiece. A food pick, but instead of food, it's just a bottle of whiskey with ketchup on it, or a food pick of Liam taking a food pick. So meta! Uh, I'm going to say whiskey with ketchup on it. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, damn. Well, Polly liked that. Oh my god, yes, I love liquid lunch. Wait, but you don't eat or drink. That's why I allowed you at my extremely cool food pick table. How do you even drink liquor? Duh, I make a live person drink it, and then I possess them and suck the drunkenness out of them, obviously. I suppose that's not too terrible, terribly dissimilar to how I get drunk. But why why put ketchup on the whiskey bottle? Um, so it counts as food. You can't just drink a bottle of whiskey without ketchup on it for lunch. That wouldn't be a meal. Ah. You can't argue with that logic, nor do you want to. Because then how would you justify getting drunk at lunchtime? Oh, All right, I'm going to try with my girl. As you approach Scott and Miranda's table, you see the entire table covered in exotic silverware. Oh, what's this one for? That's the forking spoon? It's a spoon for picking up your forks so that you don't have to touch them with your fingers. And that one? That's the tuning fork? It's for making sure all your other silverware is tuned to A minor, as is proper. And what about this one? That's the dairy knife. It's for milk. Wow, do people ever invent new silverwares? All the time, but none of them are any good. It would take a genius of true subtlety to improve on the existing canon. A genius of true subtlety. Genius and subtlety are your middle fucking names. You suggest the ultimate new silverware. The salad harp. Salad harp? For salad? Why has no one ever thought of this before? Because it's hard to eat salad with a harp. Cretan? Who said anything about eating? Isn't that what silverware is for? Perish the thought. The true purpose of silverware is to give your hands something to do while you elegantly avoid your food. And nothing is more elegant than playing a subtle lament on a harp while your serfs eat your salad for you. My serfs will finish my lunch for me. I'm off to have a harp commissioned. Miranda takes your harp shopping skills with her. Oh, sorry. It's a real bonding experience. Afterwards, you both ignore a salad together at a fancy restaurant. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, how shitty would it be for your country if you were uh, the president? Mm. Uh, wait, what? Oh, um... Uh, well... Communist. <laughs> I I think that I would be a great president. Dirty commie. I would be a wonderful president. Red menace. Yeah. No, that's those are Red all. Red menace. Those are all outdated. Hates freedom. I, <laughs> Hashtag nasty woman. <laughs> <laughs> to each, based on their need. From each, based on their ability. I don't think that that's a huge problem. Ugh. See, that's shitty because it's not fun. <laughs> oh, really? What would you do? Give everyone a. Pogo stick. Pogo stick. Oh, uh, how awesome would that be? <laughs> <laughs> I would make sure that housing was affordable, and uh, and I would work on our infrastructure and create universal health care. Well, I have a pogo stick platform that I'm going to bounce off with my pogo stick. Most shitty, I win! Yay! <laughs> yeah, you definitely are most shitty. <laughs> Week three, evening. Oh fuck! I fucked up twice with Miranda. I, I don't know if I can pull this one out, but I'll do auditorium. That day while rehearsing for the class play, you forget, you totally forget your lines. It's terrible, but you don't let that get you down. You start improvising your lines, and it's marvelous. Somehow it enhances the path of the play in unexpected ways, and that's saying something since half of your impression is a rap battle against your inner fear. Wow, that actually sounds pretty cool. Plus two creativity. Yeah, you're very creative. You see Miranda hovering in the hallway, whistling to herself and checking out a reflection in her own scales. Why, hello oh my there, gosh, she's so cute. How funny and random to see you here entirely by coincidence near your locker. Seeing as we've been getting along so well lately, oh I've decided to afford you with the honor and privilege of taking me to the seahorse races. Okay. You can pick me up after school today and bring me an assortment of flowers and chocolates as a gift. You're welcome. Oh man, a chance to buy shit from Miranda and take her out on an outing. You have no interest in? Sounds amazing. Let's rock. You go to the horse race and look for Miranda. She's wearing a beautiful and intricate horse race hat. Unfortunately, a sudden gust of wind blows the hat away. You could swear that you could hear the wind whispering, not enough budget, but it surely must have been your imagination. No, my hat! Hey, Radfest, I'm here. Hi. Look at this. Daddy always gives me money when I go to the seahorse races. It isn't much, of course. It's only 300,000 money? I think that's three million. Oh, one, two, three, one. Oh, yeah, three million money? <laughs> but it should make things more fun to bet. 
Sure, I guess. Of course, nothing would sour this lovely day faster than picking a losing horse, so I'll put the daunting choice entirely on you. Oh no. How should we choose the winning seahorse so this day goes down in memory as a pleasurable experience rather than a sign that we should never speak again? Uh, no pressure, no worries. You know the perfect of choosing great seahorses. Oh, fuck. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you are nine bold. I'm not bold. Well. That's not really how that works. But I, that would get you boldness, probably. If she rides me. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I can't, I can't be part of this decision. This I, is too tough. All right. I'm, my instinct is wrong half the time because it's binary choices, but. I think it's the taste one. Ah! I'm, pick I'm picking taste. Yay! Oh, by taste? <laughs> yes, of course. Daddy always says I have excellent taste in things. Yeah, exactly. And I pay my servants to agree. Nice. So why should I have anything less than great taste in tasting horses? Let's oh, go. Oh, God. You and Miranda sneak down to the stables where the race seahorses are kept and proceed to lick every single last one. Oh, mostly excellent Romanian sapphire tastes a little like strawberries and cream and sunshine. Yuck! Grand Slam Prius 4000 tastes like dirt. Definitely not a winner. My goodness, little perfect pixie sunburst jumbotron tastes like rotten fish. A true delicacy in my kingdom. This will be the winning seahorse, I'm certain of it. You and Miranda put all your combined 300,000 <laughs> and one money down and hurry back to your seats. The race is at the Onyx side, nearly too close to call. Bubbles everywhere, waves crashing, merge jockeys, merge jockeying for position. Until finally... Yes! Little Perfect Pixie Sunburst Jumbotron has won the race! Huzzah! Truly, Radfest, you have spectacular taste in women, and seahorses as well, it yes. would seem. Yes! I eagerly await further gifts with your winnings from today's event. I would describe this date as certainly pleasant and absolutely consider you a viable suitor. Ooh, okay. You may kiss my hand. I will do that. Wow, for Miranda, that's like third base. Yes! You gain plus two money from that bet and plus one charm from the hand kiss. All right. I'll go tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're at that time. Oh, yeah. See you guys tomorrow. I think it might be the last episode. <laughs>